when we when we started exploring this stuff together, you very early on identified uh, challenges in previs and story development that you wanted to tackle. Um, but expand a little bit more on why these are so important to your projects at at the NFB. Mm -hmm. We have an investigate phase where we just basically we have a pitch and we're just like trying to look at this idea and why is it interesting. So that's really just the beginning when when somebody a creator comes to us and mm -hmm. pitch an idea. But then if if the, the the producers are happy with that, they will go in development. So now we're going to do some look development. So the mood board. Uh, uh, some visual, visual reference and the script and the story and often it, that phase ends up with a, with a storyboard usually we don't even have an animatic at that stage we have a storyboard and then we go in production so that, to me there was always a gap there we, we have the development phase where we have a storyboard and then we produce but in order to really get a good production uh, schedule to figure out uh, what you will, you will need to build, how, how much peace this world will have, how much uh, what, what staff you will need. Uh, the, the, the more time we can spend at, at the development phase to get the story right, to make sure that we pre -vis as much as we can, um, the, the better the project will be in the end, but also the, probably we will save money because we're just going to build what we need to build. We're just going to work on what needs to be worked. We're going to hire the people. We're going to get them at the, at the right time in the schedule. And we're not going to get VFX artists coming in to do effects on a shot that eventually we're going to cut because the story wasn't quite working. Mm -hmm. So it's all stuff that if we can figure out at the development phase, then, then uh, everybody's winning.